What's up guys, it's Lou from Unbox Therapy. This is a special presentation. I'm going to be putting 16 gigabytes of RAM inside of this MacBook Pro. I've got a screwdriver, I've got an Android figurine to supervise the entire procedure. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you do not need an Android figurine. Uh, here's the RAM that I chose, this is some Corsair memory called Mac memory, and this is DDR3 at 1333 megahertz, and these are the timings, 9-9-9-24. And these are the timings that are necessary if you're going to be upgrading a Mac similar to mine from early 2011 or even 2012. It's DDR3 RAM with those timings. You don't need to buy Mac-specific memory or something labeled like mine is. Just make sure that those timings match up. Also get yourself a decent screwdriver. The screws that Apple is using on this underplate here are not the greatest I've ever seen. So if you come in with a cheap screwdriver, you might mess it up. Get yourself something half decent. So here you can see my incredible speed at undoing this bottom <laughs> plate here. All you got to do is take this puppy off and you should be good to go. You'll see the wonderful innards of your MacBook Pro shortly after that process. And here you can see in mine, it doesn't look quite like a stock one that's because i've got the vertex 3 in the top right corner but look at all that gadgetry all that goodness on the interior there but yes i've got the vertex 3 ssd in the regular drive bay of my macbook pro and then in the optical drive bay i swapped out the optical drive for my traditional hard drive i guess it was a 750 gigabyte drive that lives in there for extra storage because i don't need the optical drive the RAM lives over in the center of the MacBook Pro where I'm pointing right now. And to get it out, all you got to do is pull these little tabs to the side. Here's a closer look at what they look like. There's one on the left, one on the right. You pull them away from the RAM chip, and since it's spring-loaded, it should pop up. And then you just pull it out, and you should be ready to go. And then you've got to open up your new RAM, of course, and get that inserted. You insert it in the manner opposite of the extraction process as you'd expect and uh, it's really easy to do you just line up the pin that's the main thing make sure you line up the pin on the correct side slide it in there the bottom one is a little tougher to line up than the top one and then press it down you'll sort of feel it slide in and then click down towards the bottom side of the laptop or top side depending on which way you're looking at it so there you go here's an even closer look for you guys to figure out don't be scared Give it a little pressure. It'll all be good. You want it to be flush and straight down. So the last thing to do is just to zip the bottom plate back on. Once again, I'm going to do that in super speed mode here so that I don't bore you. And then the last thing to do after you've completed this is to boot up your MacBook Pro. Make sure the RAM is registering correctly. There are also some tests you can run to make sure that it can handle a full workload. And in my case here, it boots up just fine. I've got the wonderful Apple logo to greet me. And then after getting into the OS, the only thing left to do is to click on the Apple logo in the top left corner about this Mac. And here you see this is mine. 16 gigabytes, 1333 megahertz of DDR3 RAM. Now I've just got to go out and use it. <laughs> and if you're considering doing this, then let me know how you would use 16 gigs of RAM or if you even could. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this content, hopefully you can like and favorite this video as it does help me out a bunch. And uh, stay tuned to the channel for more content on the way. And I will see you guys on the next one. Okay, later.